All right, let's talk about blending shapes and text in Photoshop. So I've got some text here. You can see if you look in the lower right on the layers panel, it is a text layer. Good times. Let's find a shape. So I'm going to look on the left hand toolbar and click on the rectangle tool. Before we use it, though, just to point out that if you click and hold on it, ooh, you get other shapes. But I'm going to stick with rectangle for today. OK, I'm going to drag a rectangle. And right now, the fill color of the rectangle is black. Let's change it. Look to the top menu bar. There is over towards the left a fill type for the shape. Click on it and you get all kinds of color choices. If you like the color picker, awesome. Click on the color picker and choose a color. And here I go getting too picky about colors. Okay, so there, we've got a fill for our color, right? Now, what if you want the outside shape to be a different color? Super exciting. Look up on the top menu bar again for our shape. Click on the stroke type, and you can click color picker, or you can pick a winner from recently used colors. And then I can adjust the size, the thickness in pixels of that outline. Pretty awesome. And now I'm going to click on the Move tool, and I am going to move my newly created, fun-filled rectangle. Oh, but it's on top of my text. Well, that's a problem. Let's fix it. We're going to click down in our Layers panel, and you'll see that there is a layer labeled Rectangle 1. I'm going to click and drag that down below my text layer, and hey, look at that. Now the text is structured so it is on top of our rectangle. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, let's do a couple more things. I'm going to stick with the Move tool. I'm going to click and drag to select both of them. Now, what if I want to center this text in my shape? Great question. Let's look to the top menu bar. We've got some different alignment tools here, and this one aligns the centers vertically meaning up and down. And then I'm going to go over and center them horizontally or left, right. That wasn't very exciting because I think I already had them centered, but you got my point. It works, right? Okay, cool. Now, what if I want to rotate these shapes together? So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, once again, using the move tool, select both of them move the pointer outside of the selected area until it is a curving arrow. Click and drag and rotate. Bam. Look at that. It's like magic, people. Pretty cool, huh? And so there you have a very straightforward way to add in some basic background fill to text using a stroke or outline if you wish. There's a lot more to explore, but let's stop for today. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your work in Photoshop.